um, here you have the pad. Uh, so if you lose something, if you don't remember any link, here in the pad you will find everything. Okay. And uh, we have a, 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 this is spreadsheet to share um, women names that we want to make visible on Wikipedia. So if you want to add uh, some names and, sa and some data about those women, here you have the, we have a lot. And um, some people started to add the images to Google Drive. Uh, and we will see how to move those images to Wikimedia Commons. That's the main uh, uh, goal of this training. So let me show you uh, Wikimedia Commons, the platform in which we work today and all the weekend. stored on Wikimedia Commons is uh, is uh, open it's free it's for free yes, and is it has a, an open license uh, or a, is in the public domain because it's a, a a free culture project to share visual knowledge and multimedia knowledge with the world so uh, we are working in this platform uh, and uh, Wikimedia Commons uh, has, you can see, it, it, it's a, collect, a collection of millions of archives, and they are th those archives are um, classified in categories. So that that way you you can uh, find it better. Uh, Visible Wiki Women uh, is a category on Wikimedia Commons. So this is a kind of collection or shared album uh, of uh, women images. And all, all these images can be added to, uh, a Wikipedia, to Wikipedia articles. And they are women, uh, women that um, maybe they, some of them, uh, don't have an article yet, but maybe in the future they they uh, they will have an uh, an article. And you can see, as you can see, we have women uh, from the of the present or from the past. It's a a collection of in this moment uh, for this year. It's a collect a collection that uh, with more than uh, 2,000 images in this moment. Here you have uh, an upload wizard. Uh, this is a tool that we will use to uh, upload the images to here, to the, this category. This is a, a, um, a tool with some uh, automatic features so it's more easy for you especially if you are new uh, a newie uh, to use this tool to upload the images uh, uh, so let me change it to english to show you better how how it's work it works okay uh, so uh, the first thing that you need to, to start on in Wikimedia Commons is to log in to the site. Uh, for that, you need an account, a user account, uh, and you can create your own account on um, Wikimedia Commons uh, uh, in the same way that you create any account on any uh, platform, just providing your a, a username, 
uh, an email address and that that way you you can start uh, editing uploading images and so on and the this user account works here and works on wikipedia also and in other wikimedia platforms it's the same uh, user and the same password i am logged in my username is senorita leona uh, when you log in uh, in the first time, you will see your username here, probably in red. Uh, and if you want to, you 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 can go to your username and add something here, uh, just to to say hello to the wiki world. But uh, let's see uh, how to how to upload an image here. Uh, I will start with an image that it is uh, from my own authorship. It, it is an image that I, um, a photo that I take it some time ago. I am the author. Uh, this is the more easy uh, case in this campaign when you have your own photos to share uh, it doesn't have a photo that i uh, find online it's my own archive and i will share it on wikimedia commons so let's start it uh, just clicking here upload and you can select your media files I have a, um, a, a little folder with some archives that I want you to share. Uh, this is the photo that I, I want to share. Uh, it is a photo that I um, uh, taken on an event in which my, my friend Patricia, uh, an amazing wom a woman, um that works in technology and in human rights uh, and in, in on that event she was talking and i take um, a photo and that's it the photo is in my computer now and i will share the photo with the world um once the photo is up in the platform i will click continue and the second uh, stage, the second step, uh, is to um, release my rights as an author to Wikimedia Commons. Why I have to do this? Because Wikimedia Commons is a, um, a, an open culture platform, and uh, these archives uh, must be uh, free and open because uh, we will use it on all Wikipedias. Uh, there are like um, 300 different Wikipedias in, diff in different languages. And if you uh, have, uh, you, you can illustrate all Wikipedias just one, only with one um, archive. Uh, so this archive will be shared with across all that uh, website so that's why we need a license an open license that that allows that that allows this kind of sharing across different websites this file is my own work so i will select that option uh, this is my username but i can i i can change it with my name if i want to uh, I will click next, and uh, this is uh, the description section. Uh, in this section, you will describe your images. In this case, um, the title is the same of the file name. Uh, it, this is an easy way to ensure that your uh, archive uh, and the Email and uh, has the the same name of the woman because 
Uh, otherwise, it is difficult to identify the, the woman. And uh, you can add a caption and a description. I um, will add something quickly. I recommend you to, to have the data for your images in a pad or something like this. Uh, that way it's, it's more easy for you. Uh, this is a description in Spanish. And uh, here you can select a day using this calendar, or in case you don't remember the exact um, a moment in which the work was created, you can um, select the pencil and you can add, for, for instance, the year only. Here is the categories, are the categories. This is a really important field for Visible Wiki Women because we need this category here, Visible Wiki Women 2020. Uh, since we are using the Upload Wizard, this is uh, automatically added to the upload. But if you want to um, add something here, for instance, I will add uh, Creative Commons because she works uh, on the, she's part of the Creative Commons network. Uh, you can add any other uh, category that can fit with uh, the, the, the woman profile. And if you don't know um, how, uh, what category to add, don't worry, you can do it later or any other Wikimedia uh, can do that for you. So don't worry. I think that we are really ready for I shall publish this image. Uh, as you can see, this is the um, the license of the captions because this is this is a kind of um, the the caption are con are related with Wikidata, which is another project of Wikimedia. But the image will have a, a, a Creative Commons license. Uh, CC by share alike is the license. And I will publish the files. Uh, in this uh, stage, you can add uh, some metadata. For instance, the name. of the person. Wikidata uh, didn't um, find nothing here, so let's add Visible Wiki Women. And uh, we are ready to publish. And that's all. Uh, this is the the file. Uh, this is uh, these are um, links and uh, the code to use it on Wikipedia. And if you want to upload more files, you can continue, or you can go to the homepage to of um, Wikimedia Commons. I will go with, to the file here. And this is the license. And uh, this is a template of Visible Wiki Women. And you can see here the, um, uh, the categories. So that's all. If this is uh, the, the more easy case, uh, when you have your own images in your own computer, in your own devices. Uh, you don't need to uh, memorize all of this because we have a guide for this step by step. So when you will do it, uh, you can 
follow these steps. But I want to show you another case uh, because um, it is important to know what uh, you can do when you aren't the owner of the photo. Let's go again to the uh, upload wizard. Sorry. And let's use an image that you um, found in another place. I will upload this image. Uh, she is uh, Monica Michelena. Uh, she is the General Secretary of the uh, Charua Nation Council in Uruguay. This photo uh, was taken during an event uh, by this author, Laura Rubendotir. Uh, and uh, this image has a uh, Creative Commons license allowed on Wikimedia Commons, which is a Creative Commons by Share Alike. Uh, so uh, you can uh, check what licenses are allowed in the pad. Remember, if you if you don't remember, just go to the pad and uh, check that. Or in our guides, you you can check what licenses are, are allowed. Uh, but uh, this image is on Flickr in this moment. Isn't on Wikimedia Commons. Isn't on. Uh, visible wiki women so i will upload this uh, this image uh, i i will start again with upload uh, i will select my archive here is monica continue this file is not my own work. So I will select that option and uh, you will see uh, how many new fields are open and you will need to uh, fill that fields. The first uh, and, and most important is the source because with this this is in your own images. Wikipedia, Wikimedians need to know the origin, the source, to check that uh, uh, the image has the, the, the license, the Creative Commons license that we need. So I just pay, I just um, put it here, the, um, the link. The other, she is, uh, Laura, I will copy and paste her name as the author here. And uh, I have to tell Wikimedia Commons um, why I am sure that I have the right to public to to publish this uh, this work. In this case. Uh, because the source is Flickr, there is an option, a specific or option here. Uh, but uh, for other platforms, you can choose here uh, your, the Creative Commons license. But I will use for this case just the Flickr option. There are another options. You can uh, read more about all the options in the step-by-step -step guide. So um, I, I just um, show you this specific case. Uh, once uh, all the copyright information is done, I just click, um, oh, oops. This file, this file already exists on Wikimedia Commons. Well, uh, sorry, I didn't check before. <laughs> Uh, but this allows me to um, to tell you that 
An important step before stop uploading is to check if uh, there, uh, if the image is uh, isn't or not on Wikimedia Commons. But doesn't matter. Um, just uh, for the training session, uh, it is okay to show you. The, the most important was the the release right right uh, section, and the next steps are the same that in the previous case. You uh, need to add a caption, a description, um, a date. In this case, the metadata of the image um, has a date, so we are okay, and the category. And I, uh, I can publish the file now because already exist on Wikimedia Commons, but don't worry. Um, you can, uh, if the, in, if in your case the the file um, uh, isn't already on Wikimedia Commons, you just uh, need to publish files, and that's all. So uh, I don't want to extend much more. Uh, I think that uh, it's better to uh, listen to your uh, to your questions and your doubts. So uh, I will stop my sharing screen, and that's all. Um, I think that it will be nice to um, uh, before the the question um, to listen to, uh, to an experience uh, um, of uh, how a, a new person um, start on visible wiki women so if natalie is there natalie are you Hi. ready yeah Excellent. Um, thanks so much, Mariana. Um, and and there are lots of questions that are coming up, so we will have quest. Uh, you know, we will have time for for going into them. Uh, and I've been trying to capture some of them as well, Mariana. But Natalie, welcome. Um, I just wanted to briefly introduce you, so you can then dive straight in. But Natalie is now here as an individual Wikipedian, a newbie Wikipedian volunteer. So welcome, Nat. Um, but uh, during March and some part of April, while she was working with the Women uh, Fire Services uh, UK, uh, she uh, and the Women Fire Services, which we'll talk about, joined us as a new partner for Visible Wiki Women. And, and so Nat is just fresh off that experience. And over to you, Nat. Tell us a little bit more about how that was for you. Hi, hello, yeah. Um, I'm currently on furlough at the moment, so all of this feedback is in a personal capacity. Um, but the majority of the work that I did was um, also in a volunteer capacity. But um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't aware of the Wikipedia, uh, the statistics around women's images. So that was a bit of a shocker, but I, I can't say I was particularly surprised. I just, I, I wasn't aware of it. Um, and uh, obviously uh, visibility of women in the fire service is an issue as well. Um, for example, around 6% of women in England are firefighters. Um, and um, prior to, um, prior to um, getting involved in this, um, I had noticed uh, just doing some research about the organisation when I started there, which wasn't that long ago, um, that there were um, women in the fire service that didn't have images on, on Wikipedia. Um, and then I randomly um, was introduced to Anna Sewer uh, and we got onto the topic of the, 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 camp of, of the campaign. And uh, yeah, it started from there. Um, and I guess my experience as a new volunteer, um, I just found, you know, everything from the first introductions and the initiation really welcoming and inclusive. 
Um, there are also um, online sessions on a, on a, every, every week, um, and they were really helpful, a good space to build up the relationship uh, and to ask questions. Um, what else? Uh, I learned that it's just, it's just fun, a really fun thing to do. Uh, it's a whole new world that I never thought I'd be a part of, even though I feel like I haven't really done much yet. Um, it, was, it was really fun to, to get involved. Um, and I, I guess I learned that there were no stupid questions <laughs> um, and that basically each piece of work, no matter how small, it's, it's unique, it has its own journey. Uh, and it also, it, each piece of work has its own issues and re resolutions. And uh, I guess I learned that you do need to, to be patient, um, but that even doing something very small is, is worthwhile. And um, yeah, I, I guess I've learned that there's a lot more to be done in the area um, that, that I'm interested in. Thank you, Natalie. Thanks. Thank you, Nat, um, as Mariana said. And uh, just again, a reminder that the reason um, this year's campaign has focused on um, women in critical infrastructures of care is really the context in which we're in with COVID-19, which, as we've been saying, is collectively but differently experienced across the world. And, and so women firefighters, for instance, as with medical staff, as with folks in groceries, as with everyone who prepares food along the food chain, um, women are disproportionately farmers, for instance, um, though, though we often don't think of them as that. Um, all of this is so important. So, so just, you know, even as, as you think of three women firefighters from the UK coming onto Wikipedia, um, maybe three women firefighters, but they represent so much more, as you just said. So thank you again for all the support and, and uh, for becoming a, a, a nerdy Wikipedian along with the rest of us. Welcome to a crazy, crazy universe. Uh, you know, uh, you, I don't know if you can check out anytime you like, but you, you will certainly never leave. <laughs> um, oh, I should probably put on my, there we go, uh, the video at this point. And uh, Mariana, is this a good time to sort of ask for, questions and um, there are a few that have come up already um, so as people think about what they want to ask um, I think it was Erica who asked about um, a, a little more uh, around the the connection between structured data so Wikidata Commons and Wikipedia what is the relationship could you talk a little bit more about that and everyone else if you have a question either raise your hand uh, using the the nice little hand icon on your on the bottom left hand side of your screen, or use the chat, and I will come back to you um, in a bit. Over to Ma over to you, Mariana. Great. Let me share the uh, the screen again. Uh, and let me let me tell you that I finally uh, was able to uh, upload the Monica Michelena image because um, the problem was the title. The title the, there there was another file with the same title, uh, so I just added a two here to um, um, indicate that there is another file. So just, uh, this is the, the little um, things that you, you have to take in account, uh, little details that sometimes make difficult to, to do this, but I just uh, I changed the title and that's, that's all. Well, um, uh, the, um, I am not a really expert on 
eh, Structured Data on, Wikip on Wikipedia, Wikidata and Commons, but um, I can show you some simple things here. If uh, everyone of, uh, knows more about Structured Data, uh, you are welcome to, to add some comments on that. But uh, the idea is to connect um, items on Wikimedia Commons to items on Wikidata. Let me show you what is Wikidata. Wikidata is a huge uh, database, uh, an open database, totally free, totally open, uh, in which everything of the world can be added everything that exists in any in in, in any uh, in some way uh, so each wikipedia article has a wikidata item each person that are in wikipedia has a wikimedia a wikidata item but uh, people that aren't on wikipedia can have a Wikidata item that is very common. And actually, the gender gap on Wikidata is not so uh, deep that on Wikipedia. There are more, a better, pro, a better balance on Wikidata in terms of gender. Not perfect, not, uh, uh, there is not um, totally equal, but it's better than in, on Wikipedia. Uh, so if uh, you go, for instance, to, um, uh, you can search here for people, for instance, let, let's uh, search Frida Kahlo, for instance. Mariana, can you yeah? share your screen? I, I, I'm not no. able to see it. Oh, oh no, let me so, so, start so again. It, I can I can see it, but I can't see it as full screen. So you just have to oh, make it full okay. screen for everybody. Just just uh, in case that's a problem for anyone else. Can you see it now? I can see it, but not yet as full screen. Hang on, oh, let me just try. Oh, full screen. There that that yeah, was see. the problem. Yes. See. Okay. Well, Perfect. Uh, Gracias, Amiga. This is Wikidata. The, the, um, the front page of Wikidata, and I was just uh, searching here um, to find the um, the item of oh, sorry uh, you can search uh, items here. And this is an item of uh, for Frida Kahlo. Uh, and there are images. The images are on Wikimedia Commons, actually, are stored there. And when you have a, an image here on, on Wikimedia Commons, you can add uh, some, um, you can, uh, link this image with Wiki, Wikidata, Wikidata items. For instance, let me see if Monica has an item. No, there is no item for Monica in this case. I can create the item later and I can um, link the item with the photo. Uh, because there is a, a, an, an item of visible wiki women i i will add the the item just to to create a relation it's not mandatory but it's something that i do i don't know if other users do the same uh, but the idea is to to have a more uh, structural descriptions of each um, thing 
object on a Wikimedia Commons. That way, for instance, uh, this is uh, good for um, uh, for human to search, for uh, machine learning to um, to improve uh, their algorithms. Uh, it has a lot of um, good applications. Uh, so the only thing you you need to do is to relate the the item with um, the the picture with an item on on Wikidata. It isn't mandatory, but it's something useful. And if the more useful is when the the the, the woman already exists on Wikidata, and uh, you connect both. So another interesting uh, thing to do during the editathon, if you want to, is to create this kind of elements. Is easy. You can, for instance, I can search Monica Michelena. Mm -hmm. No, th there is no items by her name, but I can um, uh, create uh, the item if I want to. Uh -huh. uh, let me show you. Mm -hmm. There is no item. Oh, I, I lose the... the uh, well, let me back to this later uh, when I can find the option. <laughs> but yes, the idea is that you can create uh, this kind of items here because it's more easy that, that create a Wikipedia article and then you can connect the both uh, the picture and the and the data. Uh, there is something more. Another question. So just a quick, um, uh, just to add a little bit. Uh, one is Mariana, as I understand it, and I think uh, there are those who understand Wikidata even better on this call. But Wikidata. I think of as an index for content, both more broadly on the internet, uh, but also on Wikimedia projects. And so, for instance, you can add an item to Wikidata that may not yet have uh, an item, uh, have an article on Wikipedia. For example, in the improbable case that there is no article for farmer in the English Wikipedia, then or firefighter, then you can add an data item that says firefighter and uh, describe what a firefighter is um, and uh, so on, right? And then as Wikipedia, English Wikipedia, Spanish Wikipedia, the different Wikipedias, as well as um, Wikimedia Commons gets multimedia on farmer, that gets added to the Wikidata item. Is that correct? Exactly. It's that correct. Yeah. Okay, so just just making sure that everyone understands that Wikidata, the, the reason it's slightly confusing is that Wikidata is newer than other Wikimedia projects. So um, you think of it as coming afterwards, but actually if you think of it as the index for all content, uh, a structured data index, then yes, it helps with cross-referencing, it helps with um, going down the rabbit hole of uh, what the Spanish Wikipedia article on Frida Kahlo says versus the English Wikipedia article on Frida Kahlo, for instance. Um, there are over 200 language versions of Wikipedia and each of them um, is written by humans differently. So each article on a person can be different based on which language that article is in. So here's an that's another little thing for newbies to know. It's 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 fascinating, and uh, and for those of us who are lucky enough to be bi or multilingual, uh, it is a wonderful rabbit hole to go around go down, which is to compare language versions. I'll stop there. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Anasuya. That's that's uh, fascinating. And let me show you just quickly how to add an item because i i found the option <laughs> sorry 
Um, let me show you. Um, uh, when you search a name uh, that doesn't exist yet on Wikidata, uh, if it doesn't exist, you can create the new item here. Create a new item. Just clicking here. And uh, you can select the, the language the language in you will work. Let's let's uh, do it in in, in English. Uh, and with create, you can start adding uh, statements about the person of any other thing that you are adding on Wikidata. In this case, uh, you have to say that this is a human. This is a human. Uh, um, uh, you can say another thing. You you can say that it is a it is a woman. It is, what is her country? What is her uh, her uh, uh, profession, etc. Uh, in in general, there is a lot of options. So, isn't uh, Wikidata isn't binary, which is great. Uh, in this case, normally I select woman. Uh, in this case, but there, there is, oh, sorry. And that's all. Uh, I, I can continue adding data about uh, Patricia. And you can create items in, and you can add the image. Uh, I, I will add the occupation um, and uh, the country. And I will add the image now. If I type Patricia, yes. The image is linked with the um, with the item. You can add uh, more information if you have it, but this is a good way to start making uh, a, a woman biography because sometimes, as many of you know, uh, it's difficult to start on Wikipedia because. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's more uh, difficult to, to create a new article and sometimes uh, some Wikipedia uh, users uh, have the tendency to delete uh, with, uh, women biographies, uh, but it's safer to start on, on Wikidata. Uh, probably this item uh, uh, won't be deleted. Uh, if I try to start a, a biography of Patricia, I will need to gather uh, many sources about her, about her notability, and I think that she is notable. <laughs> uh, but uh, maybe I will need to make a research uh, and take my time to research to create the the, um, the Wikipedia article. For to, to create a Wikidata item, you have to research. But um, is uh, for Wikipedia, you need more information. So and more sources. So uh, my recommendation, if you want to to uh, make a, an additional step to your uploads, you can create. Uh, items for uh, the women you you upload.
there is another question. Uh, I, I think that uh, the chat, um, Erica said, um, ah, if we can add some Wikidata video tutorials in the other part, I, I will. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for a SAFs, in fact, right now. But um, either Mariano or I will for sure. Um, again, another wonderful rabbit hole to go down. Uh, but to check on images again, to come back to today's editor Thon, uh, are there other questions from folks? Uh, could you raise your hand or, or, um, or at this point just um, unmute maybe and and ask a question. Mm -hmm. I think you did such a brilliant job, Mariana. No one has questions. <laughs> uh, but it's important to uh, for you to know that uh, I only uh, show you two cases uh, when I have my own uh, file authored by me and when I uh, have a, a file authored by other with a uh, with an open license visible in the in the um, in the archive but there are other possible cases uh, for instance um, uh, you can uh, upload a copyrighted image image but for instance, an, an image that you um, uh, take from uh, the, the Facebook or Twitter profile of the person, if you upload that image, probably and you um, uh, uh, don't clarify the copyright situation, probably the image will be deleted. So you, but you, there is a procedure to uh, to tell Wikimedia Commons admins that you have the permission or you are uh, looking for the permission from the uh, original author. Uh, there is it's a procedure that takes like um, uh, some weeks. Uh, and there is a team on Wikimedia Commons that can check if you um, really have the, the permissions to share that image. The the other have to send need to send an email to say, hey, I am I agree with share this image on Wikimedia Commons. It's more um, uh, more a little bit complex and and not. Uh, always uh, has um, um, uh, a result at the end, but it's a it's an option. And there is a, in our path we have a, a, um, in in the in in our resources we have a specific resources for that situation. And there are another situations. For instance, if you are creating uh, your own illustration of the of a person based on a photo. There are different cases that you can explore um, in um, in our path, uh, uh, looking in the links that uh, are under more learning resources. I think this is a really important example, uh, Mariana, because this is the example that most people will actually have, right? So for many of us, um, let me just put my video on quickly. Uh, for many of us, we might have someone we really admire who, say, for instance, is a living person um, and who we believe is a notable woman, should come on. Um, but uh, we don't know whether their images um, are openly licensed or not. So we may uh, reach out to them and ask them for permission, as Mariana is saying. Um, and the process of asking them for permission is, is something that does have one or two steps. And as Mariana is saying, you would have to 
ask them first whether they can openly license it uh, according to Wikipedia Creative Commons licenses, uh, which currently are CC by SA 4.0. Um, and uh, if they say yes, then you have to ask them <coughs> to send an email to, uh, as Mariana said, the Wikimedia Commons administrators who will then uh, check that this is a bona fide, uh, legitimate person giving legitimate uh, copyright permissions for their image to be used um, on Wikimedia Commons. And the reason um, this happens, and often as activists or as um, you know, um, feminists or as non-Wikimedians, we wonder why this is. And the reason is to protect the copyright of those who uh, need to have them protected, right? We don't want people to uh, just um, exploit others and to exploit images. And so this is why this process is sometimes feels as cumbersome as it does, uh, but recognizing that it is in order to protect us and um, the copyrights we wish to have in the world is, I think, important. Um, so um, Tam asks, do we have to ask both the subject of the photo and the photographer? The, the actual permission has to come from the photographer. So the person who takes the photograph has to give the permission. Often, though, uh, the way that you get to that photographer is through the person because the person is the one who knows um, who the photographer is, right? So, um, Mariana, do you want to show an example? Just, uh, you know, Nat just did this, right? With uh, a few examples. Uh, Nat, do you want to talk through the process you did or you used or would you like Mariana and me to do that? Uh, yeah, I can. You can step in if you want to. Um, yeah, why don't you? I think that'll be fun. Mariana, can you uh, can you throw up which which image would you like to talk about? Um, let's see. Oh, maybe uh, Alex's. Alex Johnson's. Mariana, would you throw up Alex Johnson firefighter image? Yes, yes, I have it. Perfect. Here we go. Here, here is Alex Johnson. Yeah, so I I got in touch with Alex. Um, obviously, I uh, explained uh, what the campaign was and um, that it needed to be an image uh, that she owned. Um, so she um, sent me back this one. Um, and when I put it through, um, it wasn't accepted obviously because it looks like a a very professional uh, photograph so i had to get back in touch with her and say that there was a problem um and basically she said <laughs> that it was her husband that took the photo on her camera <laughs> so uh so yeah that's what I, that's what that i had to then ask her to get back in touch with the admin to relate that piece of information and then the image was was accepted but um yeah each one of the the images that um that i did put forward that there was you know there was a, it, it it wasn't it, it wasn't an instant it wasn't an instant hit um but uh yeah pa pa patience a little bit of patience and uh, a little bit of a workaround and uh can be done Yes, uh, you can see here uh, in the summary of the image that there is a permission section and uh, there is like a um, template here, uh, here. This is a standard that uh, Wikimedia Commons use to, to show that uh, there is a permission this work is free and may be used by anyone for any purpose. If you wish to use this content, you do not need to request permission as long as you follow any licensing requirements mentioned on this page. Wikimedia Foundation has received an email confirming that the copyright holder has approved a publication under the terms mentioned on this page. Well, 
all of this sounds like a very um, technical in some way, but this is the correct thing. This is an indication that um, there was a, a process of review of the image. There was a, actually a ticket here uh, uh, that indicates that volunteers, trusted volunteers, um, made the, the review. And uh, this is uh, transparency here in, in Wikimedia Commons. There is a, a, a policy on transparency for this kind of situation because, as Anasuya said, um, it, it is uh, critical to not um, exploit or to not misuse uh, works under uh, copyright uh, uh, in a way that can not fit with the other wishes. So that's, that's why uh, the authors release the images under this license, a Creative Commons license. is a way to let the world know that you as an author, as a photographer, are agree to share the image with anyone. But you have to say it um, concretely, you have to say explicitly using the license. That's why this, uh, you, we need all this process. And regarding with personality rights, the, the own image right that each person has under their own images, um, uh, is uh, different to the copyright um, um, rights, permissions, is a right that uh, belongs to the portrait person and uh, in this case uh, it is important to you when uh, to upload images uh, that you uh, you are sure that uh, the portrait person uh, is agree to, to share their own image. If the image is on the internet you uh, you uh, probably uh, there is no problem to share that. But if it's an image that uh, will be online for the first time, uh, especially if it's an image you uh, you take from other person, if you ha if you can contact the person and just ask. Hey, you are agree uh, to to be on Wikimedia Commons. That's better because the personality and image rights aren't the same of copyright. Copyright is for you, and the personal rights, the image rights, are for the person portrayed. So, um, Mariana, a couple of really good points that have come up. Um, on the chat, uh, uh, Crystal points out, and I think it's really important to mention, that all of these uh, trusted volunteers who work as um, OTRS, is what we call it, the, the response team for commons and other Wikimedia uh, queries and emails, they all sign a non-disclosure agreement uh, that promises never to give away, give away private information uh, in any way because obviously they're, they're reading our emails and, and so on. And so they all sign an NDA and it's very important that everyone who's on this call and who might um, be watching us and listening to us knows that. So thanks very much, Crystal, for, for just mentioning that. Um, and then um, Jim also uh, has, has added a template around personality rights and on consent, because um, as Erica says, making sure that we're taking uh, into consideration uh, person, personal and copyright is, is a really important feminist practice of consent. So, so thanks for that. Um, the one other practical thing I thought, uh, Mariana, that might be useful to mention is that in cases like this where uh, you're, you've got an image, you want to upload it, you know that the person is going to send 
permission, but they haven't yet. And in fact, they can only send permission that the, the email text giving permissions for openly licensed images if the image is on Wikimedia Commons. So it's a little bit of the chicken and the egg. The image goes up and you send the file URL uh, with the permissions uh, text to uh, these admins, right? And so uh, there's a template that you can put up uh, as you upload the image, which essentially says to uh, these administrators, hang on a sec, don't worry, the email is on its way. Um, this may not yet be openly licensed, but you will have permission very, very soon. And so the template just uh, asks administrators not to take down that image till they have received the permissions email. And all of this is in our resources around giving and getting consent, um, as well as uh, when you uh, use the upload wizard that Mariana talked about, it prompts you to put that template up if you are uploading an image that will get consent uh, and permission, but doesn't yet have it. Um, Mariana, here's another question. Uh, how can one create categories on Wikimedia Commons or Wikipedia that does not exist, but feel uh, like it's necessary for it to be added? That's a great question, one that all of us uh, uh, also think about a lot. Here's the category rabbit hole, Mariana. Over <laughs> to you. Great. Um... Uh, you can create um, categories uh, on the fly uh, in any moment on Wikimedia Commons. It's easy. Um, and uh, um, normally, uh, you, you will create a category for the person, for instance, because if uh, more images of the same persons appear in the future and other users uh, add the same category, all the, the images uh, will be together. And that's uh, useful uh, for, for users to, to find the images and to use it. So uh, let me show you my screen once more time. Uh, uh, the categories on the um, file are at the um, at the bottom, uh, and uh, for instance, this the uh, Alex uh, is in the category category firefighters, and um, there is a category for especially for her. This category doesn't exist yet. That's why it's in red, um, because uh, it's a, an empty link. The, the page of each category is a page. Let me show you. It's linked to a page. So um, Alex hasn't a, a, a category yet. Uh, I can add more categories. Uh, for uh, to do that, I am using a a tool uh, on on Commons that allows me to to do it visually. But the the traditional way is using Wikicode. Uh, uh, if I click on Edit Source, then you can you are looking at the Wikicode and the categories are here. So if I want to add um, another category, for instance, the only thing that I need to do is create, for instance, um, something like this. Oh, sorry. Um, and I probably will need to delete this category because on commons categories are more like, um, you know, Russian, Russian dolls when one category contains another and another and another. 
So uh, there are hierarchical. So uh, in this case, Alex is a firefighter, but maybe she is a, something more specific. She is a British firefighter. So fighter. So uh, probably I will need to delete the previous category and just leave this. And uh, I, if I publish the change, the new category will appear. Let me see if the British firefighter exists. I, I, I am not sure, maybe not. No, doesn't exist, but it is only an example. How I can um, add Alex to the firefighters category? Let me show you. If I click on the category name, which is in red, and if I add uh, the category firefighters, uh, Alex is um, uh, under that category in, uh, in this moment. So um, uh, the category Alex Johnson is under this category, firefighters. And, and just to add, this is where you see the difference between something that is red linked and blue linked. And you'll see this exactly. over and over again on any Wikimedia project. A page that has text on it has content of any kind, it may just be hello world, which is your user page, that will be blue linked. If it doesn't have any content on it, it would be red linked. And here's another good tip for especially this um, uh, process with this campaign. As you create user accounts as newbies, you want to put some text into your user account. So your user page, um, Mariana, you might want to show your user page once more. Um, and the reason it's important to have some text there is because that's the other thing that admins look at. They look at your uh, user page to know that you are a legitimate human being and not someone um, trying to spam Wikimedia projects or uh, malevolent in any way, malicious in any way. So uh, just making sure that you write something is really important. And that's where uh, it goes from the red linked page to the blue linked page. And it's one of the reasons that um, uh, there are many women's groups across the Wikimedia movement who talk about uh, women in red as their project, right? And that's that's a that's a that's a partner group of us because it's about women whose articles should exist, but they don't have content yet. Um, so just to add that little tip. Exactly, this is my my uh, user page, and uh, you you can uh, create a, a user page for you and you you can do the same on wikipedia for instance uh, and that that's uh, this is important for um, because this is a community at the end of the day and uh, when you started using wikipedia or wikimedia commons probably you, you will start to receive um, message uh, notices and uh, alerts and messages and people will start to talk to you. So that's why it is important to, to have an identity um, to mm, show that you are a um, transparent and trusted person. But another thing, import, another important thing is you can keep uh, your anonymity if you want to. You don't need to reveal um many data about you if if, if it's important if privacy is important for you you can use a username uh, um, which is a nickname uh, my, mine is senorita leona um, uh, uh, and you can say what you want to say here you don't need to reveal all your private life <laughs> 
uh, if you don't want to. Uh, but it's important to create that kind of identity to interact with users on, on uh, uh, the Wikimedia world. Yes, as Crystal is saying, um, in, for instance, LGBT plus people from Chechenia, for instance, uh, she didn't recommend you to, to put nothing on the uh, on your uh, user page. So you you can uh, um, decide what to 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 say. Uh, in cases, there are different cases. For instance, activi LGBTQ activists in a um, in a violence a violent context probably they would like to uh, hidden their identity. Uh, but for instance, um, um, a, a staff person of Wikimedia Foundation Foundation normally they create a complete profile uh, to uh, give transparency uh, when they are editing Wikipedia. So there are many different cases, uh, but the important thing is there is no uh, real name or real identity um, requirement on, on, on Wikipedia and Wikimedia. And the community is um, uh, really take care on the bad actors and bad use uses of the of the user account for instance um, when uh, when a person start when a user start um, uh, having a um, strange behavior maybe um, uh, that person can be a puppet or a fake uh, trying to um, attack other people or create a uh, biased content. Well, the community takes care on that kind of situation. So uh, in one hand, anonymity and pseudonymity is a low well and uh, the community encourage you to use pseudonym if you need it. But on the other hand, uh, the community takes care on safety uh, and uh, on trust, uh, trust and safety um, uh, for community members. So, yeah. Um, uh, so if you don't feel comfortable sharing your real name, it's totally fine. Uh, Anasuya is saying that she puts uh, their organizational affiliation, for instance. And that's because I, you know, I have identities that are very public and transparent in the movement. Um, and as Sarah's uh, making the point, which is also really important, some of the work that she does on Wikipedia is uh, officially through work as uh, part of Wikipedia UK, which is the UK chapter um, of the Wikimedia um, movement. And uh, that was the same when I was at the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, and then there are time, and then there are your individual volunteer, uh, your individual volunteer work. So one thing just for you to know is that by Wikimedia norms, if you are paid as, an, uh, as part of an institution, Right, um, that is a Wikimedia institution, for instance. Your volunteer, your your editing of content can only be related directly to your work. So, uh, uh, Crystalina will edit content that is related to her everyday work at the Wikimedia Foundation, potentially. But then, editing Wikipedia or content or putting up, you know, images and comments, that's you as an individual volunteer, and you want to make that very separate. Which is why. Um, uh, when we are part of Wikimedia organizations, you will find that many of us have separate uh, individual accounts, as Sarah is pointing out, and uh, work accounts. So I used to have that when I was at the foundation, for instance, just as Sarah did. 
um, I hope that that helps everyone. Um, are there any other burning issues? Otherwise, Mariana, I know we're at time, so I just want to make sure there's anyone else sitting with any um, major issues uh, they ask, and after that, we can go into next steps. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, let's go to the next steps. Um, and let, let me show you again my screen. Here is uh, the pad. Uh, you will find all the information, all the relevant information in the pub. Uh, in the next days, um, from now to Monday, to the end of the Monday, you can work uh, uploading your images in any moment uh, that is good for you. Uh, so if you need uh, help, um, I recommend to you to, to start uh, reading the, the, if you are a newbie, to reading the guide on how to upload images to Wikimedia Commons and the other guides that can help you. And we will add more if you need it. And um, also there is this spreadsheet uh, with names. If you uh, like to, to uh, search uh, for information and images about these women, or maybe you want to add another name here, you you can do that. In the uh, This is a collaborative document to, um, to work together on uh, on what we we want to do during the editathon, but uh, you you can uh, use it or or not if you have um, other images or if you just find uh, found images online, uh, you can use it and then if you want to, you can add it to the list just to. Um, and uh, know uh, what images we we have. Uh, if um, if you have it, please add the the license information here, uh, just in case we um, we need to to check that uh, with a Wikimedia admin or if some image is uh, nominated for deletion. This is the we can check if the license is okay. So if you have uh, the, the, the license information, uh, it will be nice. And uh, don't forget uh, to use the campaign wizard because uh, if you use it, the visible with women category will be added automatically. Uh, remember the CC license that are, are allowed, and remember that uh, there will be that, that that there can be historic photos in all archives. For instance, um, the British the, the British Library uh, or uh, many museums uh, can uh, have old images that are in the public domain. You can use that also. Uh, so this is the the things that you, the the important things that you have to take in mind. If you uh, want to, you 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 can leave your username there once you create it. And uh, there are different tips if you need more ideas on how to find the images. Please use the um, uh, the hashtag on social media if you will if you want to share it. Um, and let me add the hashtag. Um, here. 
beautiful wiki winner and that's all i think that we are done and if you need more help please um ping us on twitter and instagram or just send us an email i will i will be checking emails during the weekend and, and on monday